good. Oh, yeah. I kind of wanted this video to be like in one row and not split up. Hm. Perhaps I will cut it together. No, oh, well, cannot change it anymore. Anyways, I think it makes it easier for people to get to my points if I still leave it cut. No, oh, well. Anyways, um, and there was a yes. I'm recording about seven to ten hours over the course of a week. About. I have a very huge backlog. I recorded a lot during Easter. I'm an atheist. I'm not celebrating Easter. <laughs> I wasn't with my family. I, we never celebrated Easter a lot. It was usually like, like here's, uh, here's some chocolate eggs. Be happy. And I was like, okay, thank you. Hey. So I recorded a lot during Easter. I sometimes after work. When I feel like recording, I record something and stuff like that. So, 10 hours per week I spend with my hobby, which I personally think isn't too much time. Correct me if I'm wrong. But, um, I really don't want to spend a lot more time recording my Let's Plays. I mean, sure, if somebody tells me, hey, if you put in your videos like this and, um, it converts like while I'm doing something else, that's okay. But I once used um, Camtasia or something uh, to do something uh, to uh, render my Zelda videos, the Oracle of Seasons things and time. And it was like my computer was really slowed down. And I couldn't really do a lot doing it because I was like, oh, a new video and do do do. And it kind of bothered me. <laughs> um, which, yeah, so but if somebody knows a good way how I can improve like, the quality of my videos without too much hassle, feel free to tell me. I am open for suggestions like that. One thing I didn't understand, I watched someone who was like doing a parody of Let's Players. <laughs> And he was like, oh, and I never edit out boring parts in my videos. And he was showing a scene, for example, in most JRPGs when you go to sleep in an inn, the screen goes black for five seconds and goes back to the game again. And he was like commenting on this, that you should cut stuff like this out. And I'm like, what? <laughs> It takes me quite a lot of time to cut out five seconds of a sleeping scene. I mean, okay, I'm not really recording grinding during a let's play. Or if I do record grinding, it's usually between important parts and I'm marking it as like, you only see grinding in this video, nothing interesting happens. And I think it's kind of the skill of a let's player to even make boring parts interesting by commentary <laughs> and I'm like I'm really I really don't have a lot of post edit stuff going on I know for example Big Fatty Plus usually puts in like captions uh, where he kinda argues with these captions during his let's play which is kinda funny I would never do this because it would be too much hassle for me and I only heard about it, I think Chaka Conroy, it's 250,000 subscribers, I still don't know why so many. I mean, he's, I never watch his Let's Plays. I'm just wondering because there's no, there's a huge gap between him and other Let's Players. I haven't seen a lot of Let's Players with like 100,000, 150,000, I don't think even one of these exists. The most I know of are like 40,000 or something. <laughs> and then he's like 250,000. Anyways, from what I've heard, he puts in like, when he plays a Pokemon game, then he do, does some special effects when he's getting a new Pokemon and putting in the stats of the Pokemon and whatever. I don't need this. And Again, back to my I record Let's Plays how I want to watch them. I don't need this in a Let's Play. If somebody wants to do this, that's totally fine with me, but I personally think that's distracting. I kind of want to show you the game, how the game is 
played. And if the game has boring parts, then the game has boring parts. Then I guess you should endure it. <laughs> Too, because I have to endure it all. I also have to endure it, like the driving scenes in Deadly Premonition. And they were totally fucking boring, but still, should I have cut them out? No. <laughs> I mean, I could have. I mean, cutting out for me is easy. I'm always playing in a window, so if I want to cut out, I just press the pause button and re-pause again. Because I don't think that's too... I don't think that's too much to ask, to... I'm not a professional. I'm not a professional media, uh, whatever. I I studied uh, computer science. Uh, even though I studied computer science, it was more software engineering, and I did some media courses, but nothing too much with editing, like post production. I didn't do post production. I did pre production. But that's when I made my video of the Telltale Heart. Heart. And yeah, like I said, I kind of want to keep on with the efficiency thing that I don't want to spend too much time because I'm already spending a lot of time <laughs> for my videos. And yeah, that's all. I try my best to be entertaining. I try my best to keep people interested in my next place. I have the feeling I'm doing not a bad job. And when I usually complain about my subscriber weights or my views and videos, then it has nothing to do with like, you guys have to watch my videos. Or it's not something because I want to become famous or something. God, no. <laughs> Help me. No, I just want to entertain people. That's all. That's, that's the reason I record Let's Plays, to entertain people. If you're not entertained by my videos, then I'm sorry, but there are a lot of, lot of Let's Plays out there. I'm pretty sure there's someone who matches your taste. That's all I'm saying. I mean, you cannot come to me and say, hey, swear less and I will watch your videos. I would be like, if you want a Let's Player who doesn't swear at all, watch Kikoskia. <laughs> watch Ge watch. Um, RP Genie, if you come to me, hey, I want to know more about your real life stuff, talk more about your real life in videos, in your Let's Plays, I would be like, no, I want to show you the game, not my private life. If you want to watch someone who likes to, who usually talks about stuff during the Let's Plays, watch Lady Gilvan. She talks about the game, she talks about stuff she she's doing at the moment. She is doing stuff at the moment. <laughs> because my usually life is I stand up, I go to work, I come home, I fiddle around with YouTube, I usually talk smack with my best friend on Skype, and on the weekends I record Let's Plays. That's my life. I am happy with that. <laughs> I am really, really, seriously, I don't need to be out all the time. You know I'm a very introvert person. And I'm really glad that my life is like it is. I have a good job. Uh, I'm kind of happy. I cannot complain. Anyways. <sighs> um, quality, criticism. Ooh, streaming. Yes. I made a note about streaming. Um, I thought about this quite a lot. And like I said, I'm usually spending about 10 hours per week on my Let's Plays and you, the most the bulk of it is at the weekend. So you can be sure about that. And the only time where I could do a stream would be like Friday or Saturday afternoon because of the time difference. If I do a stream at like 1 p.m. my time, I'm pretty sure nobody would come because you guys would be all asleep. <laughs> <laughs> or most of you. Not to mention with my subscriber weights, I don't think I would have a lot of uh, visitors. So streaming, I'm on perfectly honest with you, for 10 people, it's not really my thing. Um, not to mention, I'm recording a lot of video game footage, so I don't need to do more video game footage, in my opinion. If, if, I would ever do a stream, it would either be like we play 
an adventure together, something like I'm doing with Mist soon, or I did with Sherlock Holmes, or it would be more like a Q&A session, or like a chatting session, hanging around with Elena Way, something like this, where I record the chat and people can talk with me and stuff. One thing I may, may do is putting up a Skype account just for Let's Playing and putting this on my front page. So if people are like interested in chatting with me, they can do this. I don't know. <sighs> Not sure, honestly. Um, which comes me back to chatting, streaming. Okay, it's done. Chatting. Um, I have a lot of. I had some people ask me about uh, Skype information, and I usually gladly give it to them. I don't mind, but you should. Like I said, I'm a very introvert person. If you want to chat with me, then you have to start the chat. It's not uh it's not it's nothing personal or something, but even with Lady Gilvin at the beginning she had to talk to me before I kind of responded because I wouldn't know what to talk about. Because like I said, uh, how was your day? Oh, so interesting. How was your day? Oh, uh, yeah, well, I worked with it. Not to mention, with my kind of work, there's not a lot I can talk about because A, I'm not allowed to talk about what I'm coding. I'm not allowed for this. This is my contract. And um, most of the stuff I'm t I can talk about, people wouldn't either get it or wouldn't care about. So, <laughs> So if you really feel like, oh my god, I have to talk with him, <sighs> he's so awesome, I still don't get why, um, yeah, you can ask me, it's all, but uh, another thing, I only chat in chat tools, so if you want to have a nice conversation over YouTube comments, or if you have my Xbox game attack and you want to chat there, no. <laughs> uh, my inbox is not a chat tool. If you want to chat with me, ask me for my MSN, ask me for my Skype. I have no keyboard for my Xbox. I don't know if a keyboard exists for the Xbox, but I think chatting with a controller is kind of tedious, so no. <laughs> I usually don't even feel like putting in a name for my character because it takes so long, so... Mm -hmm. Also, about a lot of people are like, do you have a microphone for the Xbox? Or do you want to ch uh, chat on Skype with me, like a Skype conference? Um, even though I can safely say I'm not bad at talking English, it is a whole, a whole different world for me talking to an actual person. Like, talking. First of all, uh, I have to understand the dialect or the accent. Then, depending on the speed of how you talk, when I was visiting my ex girlfriend in Scotland, I was watching the news and I was like, what the fuck? I didn't understand one word. They were talking so fast, I couldn't understand them. So, talking with people, like with an actual person, is very stressful for me. And, like I said, time differences, the only time I most likely have a, could have a conversation with someone from the States or something is in my morning or my afternoon, late afternoon, evening. So I either just woke up or I'm ready to go to bed. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? I'm either tired or I'm tired. So having a long conversation, which is stressful for me, usually not. No, no, no. I don't mind doing it from time to time for some people if they if I knew them longer or if they comment a lot and kind of like a, as a thank you, like hey, it's chat a bit. But no, don't expect me to talk with everybody. Um, <sighs> chatting. I'm talking a lot. Usually I'm used to talking so much, but. Somehow it's kind of exhausting. <laughs> what do I have? Um, 
comments. Yes.